welcome back to the channel. My name is Katie. If you saw the title of today's video, we're going to get into some Amber Heard insurance fraud because what is now being reported is that Amber had been defrauding her insurance for years. Defrauding the insurance for years. And I want to go over some of that information and point that out. And is the ACLU involved? And if that's the case, what is going to happen? Could she even get criminal charges for this? Because fraud, it's one thing for the insurance company, which we know that they are suing her so they don't have to pay any of those legal fees or they don't have to pay Johnny, which is understandable. But if you are willfully committing fraud, that can fall under certain criminal acts. So what is going on there and was she defrauding them for months and was the ACLU involved? And guys, if you like this kind of content, I would love to have you here. We just giggle about the stupidness of all the stuff in the media that we're being force fed because they treat us like we're dumb. <laughs> so we giggle through it every day. Love to have you. Make sure and subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I'm giving away a $100 gift card. Really simple to win my money because almost nobody's doing it right now. This is all you have to do to be eligible and entered. Like the video, subscribe, hit notifications, comment, share the content, watch the video from start to finish, boom, you're injured, you're eligible, that's all you have to do. Make sure and do it for every video you see. The more likes, the more shares, the more comments, the more times you watch from start to finish, the more chances you have of winning. I will announce one winner August 1st. I would like to do this every week. We're gonna try it for now to see what happens. Good luck, everyone. I gotta see if I can actually keep this up and see what's going on there. But let's go ahead and let's dive into it. So we know this week, Heard had major losses. We're really over the last couple weeks. First, we know she lost her case with Johnny, which is huge. Well, then she and Elaine, as we know, went on the PR circuit, the media circuit, took them a month talking about their victims. There's no personal accountability or very little of it taken. But then they filed to get this verdict thrown out. They filed motions to strike and get this completely done. Johnny's team wasn't having it. They filed, they shot back, and then we had to sit back and wait for Judge Penny. And we had to wait on pins and needles for a few days. And we were all pretty at this point. Like, we pretty much knew this wouldn't fly, but we were just waiting for it, right? I was like, if Elaine pulls this off, it will be the legal jujitsu move of the century. Probably not gonna happen though. And that's exactly what happened. Judge A ripped her apart. They tried to say juror 15 was a fake juror. We know all about that, right? Juror 15 isn't who they say they were, blah, 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 blah. And, and several other things, like they didn't prove defamation. They didn't prove malice. Judge A was not having it, completely shot it down. But this is a huge blow because now the insurance company that was paying for all of this this week sued. They sued and said, we shouldn't have to pay for this. We don't want to be a part of this. And the reason is, guys, is because she is not covered with the insurance if the jury finds that she acted with malice. If she went and intended to hurt somebody, then it's kind of void. They don't have to pay. So they are now suing to recoup whatever losses they've already put into it and not have to pay anything additional going forward. Because as we know, Hurd has also said she's not done. She's taken to this to the Supreme Court. So I want to go over all this, but I also want to go over a few little bits and pieces of information and timelines to understand what's going on with how deep this fraud goes, because it seems like this has been planned since the beginning. I'm talking about before the op-ed was even written. This whole thing seems to have been planned and strategized to put her in this position. And this goes back all the way to 2018, which would mean this would be a four year plan of defrauding an insurance company. So let's jump on and see what's going on. So here we have from people.com. It says Amber Heard's insurance provider takes legal action to not pay damages or fees from the Johnny Depp trial. Amber Heard's lawyer said last month that the actress can absolutely not afford to pay the damages for the Johnny Depp defamation trial verdict. It says Amber Heard's former insurance provider is taking measures to not be held responsible for paying the actress's legal fees and damages in her defamation case with ex-husband Johnny Depp. Last month, a six-week Virginia trial that ended with the jury siding mostly with Depp, awarding the 59-year-old actor over $10 million in damages. After finding Heard 36 defamed him in a 2018 op-ed, though she didn't mention him by name in the article, even though she admitted it on the stand with Camille. It says she was awarded $2 million in damages, winning one of her three defamation countersuit claims. The day after the verdict, her lawyer, Elaine Brendehoff, said Amber Heard planned to appeal 
and she can absolutely not afford to pay the damages amount. Brenda Hopps said in closing arguments that Heard has racked up six million in legal fees by that point. On Friday, Heard's request for a mistrial and a potential redo on the case, claiming the wrong juror was seated for the proceedings. Also on Friday, New York Marine and General Insurance Company, here we go, filed a lawsuit seeking to not be forced to cover Heard's legal defense fees and expenses for the multi-million dollar trial or any subsequent appeal. According to court documents obtained by People, the provider covered Heard from July 18, 2018 to July 18, 2019, which spanned when the Washington Post op-ed was published in December 2018 and when Depp sued Heard in March 2019. It says the insurance company says the $1 million policy does not cover willful acts and noted there was a change in her legal defense team from the one they initially agreed upon. That's also a big one, guys. They had a whole change from what they initially agreed upon with the plan. The jury's factual findings established that Heard's liability is caused by the willful acts of Heard. As a result, as a matter of California public policy and pursuant to California Insurance Code 533, the policy does not provide coverage for Heard's liability as reflected in the judgment orders entered on June 24th, 2022. That California law states that an insurer is not liable for the loss by caused by the willful acts of the insured, which is what, you know, a team, which is what the jury found. A jury of reviewers found that. The California law states that an insurer is not liable for that loss. On October 1st, 2019, New York Marine accepted Heard's defense of the underlying action subject to reservation of rights. The filing reads, specifically, New York Maine advised Heard that New York Maine would provide legal defense, but that to the extent California law does not permit an insurer to indemnify the insured, no indemnity can be provided. And of course, Heard hasn't commented. It says, according to the Los Angeles Times, a different insurance company, Travelers Commercial Insurance, we'll get into that, it has supported Heard via a 2018 homeowner's insurance policy. Travelers sued New York, Maine to make it pay half of Heard's legal costs, the outlet reported, and New York, Maine countersued. So basically everyone right now when it comes to Amber is suing everybody over who has to pony up these fees. This is insane. Depp's lawyer Benjamin Chu said on Good Morning America last month that for the actor, the case was never about money. This was about rest restoring reputation, and that he's done that. So I wanna go over a little timeline of events with you guys so you kinda of understand some of, some more of what's going on. This is from The Independent. It says, June 2018, Johnny Depp sues over the Sun headline. On June 1st, 2018, Depp sued new news group newspaper, the company that published that publishes The Sun, for alleged libel over an article published in the tabloid newspaper in April of that year with the headline that reads, Gone Potty, How Can J.K. Rowling Be Genuinely Happy? Casting wife, herder, Johnny Depp in the new Fantastic Beast film says Depp would eventually lose that case. December 2018, Amber Heard publishes the op-ed with the ACLU. On 18th of December 2018, Amber Heard publishes an op-ed in the Washington Post titled a spoke up against blank uh, acts that weren't very good to me physically of an intimate nature and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change. In it, she writes in part, like many women, I've been harassed and intimately hurt by the time I was out of college, but I kept quiet, I did not expect filing complaints to bring justice, and I didn't see myself as a victim. Then two years ago, I became a public figure representing domestic blank, and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out. Depp isn't mentioned by name in the op-ed. The op-ed would later become the basis of the $50 million defamation suit filed by Depp naming Heard as the defendant. Now, March 2019, Johnny Depp sues Amber Heard. Depp filed a $50 million lawsuit against Heard, alleging she defamed him in her Washington Post op-ed. The op-ed depends on the central premise that Ms. Heard was a domestic blank victim and that Mr. Depp perpetrated domestic blank against her. The complaint alleges in part calling the claim of domestic blank categorically and demonstrably false. July 2020, Johnny Depp's lawsuit against the Sun goes to trial. The trial opens on the 7th of July, 2020 in London. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard both arrive at the High Court of Justice where Heard's scheduled to testify in support of the son. Depp's lawyers argued he is seeking vindication, not money, and Depp himself denies the allegations of domestic blank. 
A spokesperson for Heard tells Vanity Fair Heard never asked for these proceedings to take place and has tried to move forward with her life. The trial lasted for three weeks with explosive allegations emerging as part of the evidence and testimony. And then proceedings wrapped up at the end of July. In August 2020, Amber Heard countersues. Heard files a $100 million suit against Depp in response to his libel lawsuit, accusing him of allegedly orchestrating a smear campaign against her and describing his own lawsuit as a continuation of hurting somebody and harassment. In the filings, Heard asked the court to grant her immunity from Depp's complaint and asked for compensatory damages of not more than $100 million, specifying this is twice the amount Mr. Depp asserted against Heard. November 2020, Johnny Depp loses his libel battle against the Sun. And then in March 2021, Johnny Depp is denied permission to appeal loss in the Sun case. So he was denied that with that, right? And then April 2022, of course, we know what happened in Virginia. Now, I want to go over some of my notes with you so I can kind of explain some of this. So now we have some of the timeline as to what has happened, right? So they want to be absolved, right? So New York, Maine wants to be absolved of any of this and having to pay for any of this. They don't want to have to pay for her legal fees. They don't want to have to pay for the judgment or any ongoing further costs or litigation. So from July 2018 to July 2019, she was covered by this insurance policy when all of these different trials and things were going on. So here's the thing. We know December 2018 was when the op-ed was published, right? We know the ACLU, like the first half of it was written by their ghost writers. Like they wrote it for her. We know all types of stuff about her and the director possibly being in bed together and all of that in whatever way you want to look at that and take that. But so she got this insurance policy, right? From July 2018 to July 2019. And this looks like they prepared everything in advance because then on November 18th, she got a huge homeowner's policy, okay? So November 18th, one month before, she gets a homeowner's policy that would cover her if she was sued, which is exactly what happened. And then in De between December 2018 and January, she bought a huge house. So she took a lot of that money and was distributing it places. She got insurance set up in place so she could do this. So think about this. She, the jury has said, you willfully and maliciously went after him to hurt him. And it looks like in what she was doing, she was planning this for months with getting this two different types of insurance, getting the house, moving money around and doing this Washington Post article. So then here's the question. This would be considered fraud. So can they go after her criminally for this? Now, I think at the end of the day, they just want their money back, right? Between Travelers Group and the other insurance company, New York Maine, they just don't wanna to have to pay anything. But Herta said she doesn't have any money. And what billionaires are now going to be ponying up for this? So a lot of people are wondering, how far does this go with fraud? And are we gonna see any possible charges come down the pipeline. If she can't appeal this verdict, and we know she's gonna try, she said she's taken to the Supreme Court. If she can't get this overturned, guys, if she can't appeal this and this judgment stands, we know people are going after her civilly. What happens to her criminally though? Does something happen as a result of her willful planning to hurt him and this ends up defrauding two big insurance companies? I want to know what you guys think. Tell me what you think about all this. Sound off in the comments and let me know. As well, guys, if you like this video, you want to stay around and giggle our way through some of this stupidness, make sure and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and my $100 gift card giveaway. Like I said, almost nobody's doing it, so you have a really good shot of winning. This is all you have to do. Like the video, subscribe, hit notifications, comment, share the content, watch a video from start to finish, boom, you're entered, you're eligible, that's all you have to do. Make sure and do it for every video you see because the more likes, the more shares, the more comments, the more times you watch from start to finish, the more chances you have of winning my money because the more times you are entered to win. All right, guys, I think that's it for me here. Take care, lots of love, lots of blessings. Till the next video, I'm giving everybody hugs. Mwah. Kisses, stay safe, and I will see you soon. <laughs> Bye, guys.